Real Effects started out of a garage in Fort Worth, Texas and evolved into where we are today. But we first started out doing local commercials for like a Mexican restaurant. It slowly evolved into some entertainment work for a PBS show called Wishbone. And then outside of that, we started to do um, more national broadcast commercials for clients like Coca-Cola, Gatorade, Pier One more recently. We all have a, a dream to try to do the Hollywood thing, but keep it in Dallas, keep it in Texas. It is a huge challenge being in Texas to get great talent. And so we've had to pull a lot of people from the West Coast. But what's kind of cool is there are a whole lot of Texans that grew up here, went to school here, and then ended up having to go to the West Coast for work. And they always missed home. One of the more interesting things about the state of Texas is we have a very, very healthy business for the video game industry and the animation industry. So we want to increase this, and, and the most direct benefit of animation production is on the video game side. The film business is approximately $6 billion a year. The video game industry is approximately $10 billion a year. As we sit right now, there's so much more potential for growth and creation of extremely good jobs that this is really something that we aspire to. This is a, an industry that we want, but for them to grow, really grow, they're going to need to hire local people. And that's the big problem right now, is people coming out of schools with the skill sets that they need. My name is Fred Park. I'm a professor in the College of Architecture at Texas A&M, the Visualization Sciences program. We're looking for people who have some level of capability and expertise in visual communication, artistic uh, media, and also have a background that includes uh, science and mathematics so that they can sort of work both on their right and left half of their brain and put all this stuff together. Welcome to Texas A&M. I'm your tour guide, Fred. Come on, I'll show you around the state of the art biz lab. Visualization is a relatively new term, more common to computer science and less common to fine art. Our hope here in the visualization program is to, to bring a balance there. The combination of art and science is something uh, which actually goes back to the Renaissance. If you think about people like uh, Michelangelo and, and Da Vinci and folks like that, they were creating visual things but they also had to understand and invent technology to let them do that. Now you need to be able to understand how to effectively make use of a computer, occasionally write a computer program, but you also need to have that creative uh, spark. I really enjoy uh, performance art, which you can get from creating an animation. You can be a director, you can be an actor, you draw all the textures, and so you get to fill all these roles, and at the same time, you're working with a computer, and you get to overcome all these technical hurdles. The Ant Colony is actually quite a collaborative project. For Lauren, it's her thesis project. In Texas, we have gigantic populations of leafcutter ants. What's interesting about them is that their colonies are so large, and they're large as a several-story house. I found a system in the geosciences department called ground penetrating radar, which is sort of like an MRI for soil. It scans in slices and then you can put it together in a volume to look at. And uh, then I was able just to take a small section of that large model and present it in a way that you can be in one of the tunnels. Working with this, it's been very interesting because you realize how organized they are. The whole point behind visualization is to see something that hasn't been seen before in quite that way, or to create a way to see something that's invisible. Well, we have students in a number of the uh, companies that have produced some, some films that you may recognize in recent years. Uh, DreamWorks, for example, Industrial Light and Magic, uh, Pixar, of course. It's important for students to be able to travel to all these different uh, centers, such as Silicon Valley and, and different uh, areas of the country, New York and Los Angeles, where the film industry is really in force. A lot of them, though, do want to stay in Texas and do want to contribute to their home state. And a lot of our students tend to come back, you know, sometimes after they've gotten their experience at a Pixar or a DreamWorks. 
I love the challenge. I love being the underdog. And, and being in Texas, it was a huge challenge for us to convince those on the West Coast or East Coast that we had the same chops, and if not better, to be able to do whatever they needed us to do, whether it's commercial or, or animation for their feature film. The benefits of, of this industry are, are, are vast. It approaches all levels of our, our economy. It's giving us better jobs and it's helping the education system. What we're offering now as a studio and what, what several other studios are offering is the opportunity to get the same type of experience, the same, do the same level of work, but not have to go to the West Coast. So we've got you know, several graduates from A&M that came straight out of school, came into our studio. Working directly with A&M and the Biz Lab, it's been a great resource of talent. We love to have people that wear multiple hats that are sort of renaissance people, and we have a handful of those guys. You know, it doesn't matter what you throw at them, they can handle it.